Hey guys, um, there's no tear down on this because, well, it was kind of a rush job. Uh, the guy I know bought a Nova. I suppose he had some built badass 406 in it. Um, kind of find out it was just a bad 406. So, they get yanked and stripped apart all in a matter of a couple hours. Um, just got the block back from the machine shop from being cleaned. Um, for the most part, the lower end was all right. Other, you know, I had the wrong cam in it for what he wants to do. But the biggest problem is it had the old camel hump heads on it. Somebody did. Two or two valves, and none of them were seated. So it was farting out to the fucking tailpipe, up to the carb. It was, it was just horrible. So what we're doing is fixing everything, and he's going to wind the nitrous to it. Getting a different cam. Uh, as you see, it's four bolt. You can tell by the three frost plugs. Stock bolts, they're going right back in it. We're not doing a line home. This is a low budget thing. So, anyway, I just got it on the stand. Get a coat of vetchin primer on it, then paint. Then put together. Okay, I got a coat of paint on it. It's cast look paint, so it doesn't look like it is painted. Um, before you do anything, you get this back. It's supposed to be clean inside out, but it's up to you to make sure it is clean. So, as you've seen me do in the past, brake cleaner through all your oil passages, blow it all out with an air hose, same with the crank. Wash the crank down, get the tube and all your oil ports, blast the shit out of it, hit it with a compressed air after, you should be good. Bearings in, these are P bearings from Clevite. Cast crank, you, would, you don't want to put an H bearing on a cast crank. Um, the A bearings, the aluminum cells, I don't use. The P bearing is more of a, you know, it's all around street performance bearing, not a full blown race bearing. And as you can see, I got grease in the shells. Now I got to set the crank in, put the shells in the caps, grease them, torque it down. Alright, um, cranks in, torque down. Now what I like to do is I initially put these in with an air ratchet, just a 3 inch air ratchet. This is a Craftsman. It don't matter if it snap on Harbor Freight, it don't matter because they don't put enough torque to fuck you up. Um, four bolts, they get torqued down to different specs. The factory, uh, was it 65, 75, I think. Anyway, these are 65 right now. Now, what you want to do is you put it in with an air ratchet. So they're all, you know, the caps are all seated. They're all torqued down roughly to whatever the thing is, 30 pounds maybe. Um, then come back with your torque wrench. And one at a time, torque the caps down to the specs. And every time, rotate the crank. So you torque this one down, rotate the crank, you don't want to feel any binding, any tight spots, it wants to spin nice and smooth. Go to your second cap, same thing, spin it. Third cap, fourth, fifth, yaddy yaddy. When you're all done, the crank should spin nice and smooth, no resistance, no tight spots, nothing.
Hey guys, I'm putting the cam in. I just picked up the push rods. So I can do the top end now. Um, and there's really nothing freaky here. Lube up your lifters good and your cam bearings. Put it in. You want to make sure your lifters don't bind when they're going in. They want to go in nice and smooth. I always rotate the thing after. But just by turning the cam without the gear. And make sure all the lifters are going to come down on them by themselves. Don't rely on spring pressure. That way you know you don't have any one, any one of them tight. If you do it dry, which I usually do before I actually lube them and put them in, put them in dry and rotate it. And you'll see the lifter spin. If it doesn't spin, you have a problem. They have to spin just like your piston rings when this thing's running. Um... Push rods are just hardened stock length push rods for this motor. Uh, like everything I use, palm cam. But they're hardened for the guide plates. Um, camshaft. That was a 284, I think. What the fuck they do there? Oh, the can's in. Where the fuck is the box? Right here. Oh, that There's the can that's going in this. Yeah, 284 total duration. I'd really like the, the compression to be 11 to 1 on this motor with that duration. But where this is getting nitrous put to it, that is going to make all the difference. Um, you street guys, if that was, a, you know, this was aluminum head, 11 to 1, you run that cam, like 373 gears and like a 3000 stall, be ready to buy some fucking tires. But, anyway, I gotta get that bed and primer, so I gotta get this thing sealed up today, so I can't fuck around, but I just wanted to check in, so I'm gonna put the push rods in it, put the rockers on. I'll get back on doing that. I'll adjust one with you. Maybe I'll even do one whole cylinder. Um, intake, oil pan, done. Okay, I got the lifters adjusted, get ready to put the intake on. As you can see, I run a bead. Napa sells this. Get a little squirt can, get a nice little bead. Um, lifters. In a nutshell, see where this one's up? You want to adjust this one. Take the zero play out of it, so there's no bounce. I don't want to go by resistance because everything's lubed. Different people have different strengths, so you can tend you tend to get things a little bit too tight, and the motor doesn't like that. So what you're looking for is to get all the up and down play out of your push rod, and you're going to spin it and, and kind of wiggle up and down. When you feel it not going up and down, and the resistance is very slight, stop. At that point, put a wrench on it, and you want to go less than a turn. I usually do a half to three quarters. So you go from here to here with a wrench. Obviously, that's half a turn. Bring the wrench all the way around, that's one full turn. So when you tighten it, turn that wrench to here, and you can lock it down. I usually go there, which is three quarters. So a half to three quarters, hold this, lock your adjustment screw. Rotate the motor till that goes down, this comes up, then you can adjust that one.
I recommend doing one cylinder at a time, that way you're not getting confused. Uh, as you can see, you got a couple that are up. But this one's up more than this one. So there's a chance that one's going to start coming up on the ramp. You have to be on the base circle. So when you drops, then you can adjust. Um, yeah, silicone. I read uh, silicone around all the ports, a little bit, smeared around, put the gaskets in place. And now I'm going to put the intake on, get that bolted down. Then I'll do the timing cover and deal with the oil fucking pump and put the pan on. Then this thing's fucking done. And I think it's going in the car this weekend and probably going to be fired up and broken in, maybe Sunday, hopefully. If I am there, I will video it.